Welcome to our Glove Integrity Testing video series. Part 1 of the series is about changes in regulatory requirements coming along with the new Annex 1. Aseptic fill finish lines require appropriate technologies such as wraps or isolator systems. These systems are typically equipped with gloves to shield the product from operator-borne contamination and on the other hand to protect the operator from possibly hazardous products. Another reason is to keep the process area, class A, separated from environment by keeping the flexibility to allow for manual interventions. What would be typical glove interventions? Opening, closing of RTP ports, changing settling plates inside the isolator, changing viable sampler media or taking product samples or in general transfer of materials inside or outside the barrier system. In the light of the new Annex 1, which is coming into operation by August 2023, one change in the chapter Barrier Technologies is that glove integrity testing should be performed at a minimum frequency of the beginning and end of each batch or campaign for isolator systems. It is said to use a methodology demonstrated to be suitable for the task and criticality. This is where Syndigon comes into play and we have got you covered. If you want to know what possibilities for glove integrity testing there are and how easy it is to perform, stay tuned for part 2 and part 3 of the video series. We want to make your life easier in dealing with new regulatory requirements to pursue our common goal to ensure products are consistently produced and controlled according to quality standards. If you are more interested in this topic, feel free to get in contact with me personally, visit our website or our LinkedIn page or touch base with your local salesperson. My name is Lucas and I'm the product manager for Barrier Systems at Syndigon. Feel free to share, comment and like the video.